Before Silicon Valley really entered the scene with realizing that there was a significant amount of money to be made in the AI industry, AI research was largely a cross-border endeavor. It was understood that if everyone around the world works together to build AI, we will just end up with better systems that improve lives for everyone. Some of the most exciting research happens with African AI researchers or Latin American AI researchers or Chinese AI researchers because they are just not operating under the same circumstances of having extraordinary amounts of money or extraordinary amounts of computational resources. They're also like looking at fundamentally different types of AI technologies that are centering the problem that, it, that they ultimately want to solve with AI. So these are things that the US has really underinvested in because they're just not pursuing this kind of thinking anymore. It, I, I sort of see it as they've become intellectually lazy because of a glut of capital and a glut of resources. So they're not looking at like how do we actually just solve these like very practical problems that can improve the quality of life and human rights around the world. And so that is where I see the solution is that we un rewind the narrative of some zero-sum game like all of these competing models and who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, so on and so forth. We rewind all of that back to the narrative that once reigned, which was that we should actually have cross-border collaboration and the best ideas can come from anywhere in the world and everyone should be taking advantage of them.